Okay, so I I have a long story about this mouse <laughs> to to kind of build up what it is. Um, so this is basically the most expensive, as far as I can tell, gaming mouse that there is, and it is definitely uh, the lightest gaming mouse that there is. Uh, so I'm not even sure where I really heard about this. I think a guy in the chat mentioned, they're like, hey, have you heard or tried this? So I typed it into Google, saw uh, saw what it was. It's marketed as a fingertip grip mouse, which is basically what you use in RTS games. Um, and it marketed itself as the lightest mouse that there is. So I'm like, you know what? Let me get one of these. So I've been trying for like six months to get one, right? They're like always, they're perpetually sold out. And basically, like, once a month or so, generally, uh, they'll get in stock. So I kept missing the sales because they were on at, like, 3 a.m. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just email these guys. So I emailed them, and I was like, you know what? Hey, I'm Artosis. I'm an eSports guy. I'm a commentator. I, I stream and stuff. I, I really want to buy one of your mice, but it, one night a month, in at like 3 a.m. Korean time, you have to get in line uh, on an online store and buy it, and they sell it in like one minute. Uh, and I have four kids, and I can't do that. Is there is there any possibility you can save me a mouse? And they got back to me, and they were like, "Hey, let's jump on a let's jump on a little Discord call." Um, <laughs> and uh, by the way, the the guy who made the mouse, he's like, "Oh yeah, no, I know exactly who you are. We can definitely do that. Let's let's have a chat." Uh, and he mentioned that his ID was IPS Blue in Brood War. So immediately, now uh, most of you don't know anything about this <laughs> that are watching this and listening to this. So IPS is a German clan. Okay, I I ran the best uh, American StarCraft One team for years and years and years media. So we have played against IPS lots of times. I was on the U.S. national team for StarCraft since 2002. So I've played against IPS players. Over and over and over. Basically, IPS is uh, the second tier, the second best set of German players for the most part. And I did not have nice things to say about IPS back in the day. Because all the IPS players, all the German B team were DT droppers. I'm not even kidding. All of them drop DTs, like all the time. So I would actually kind of make fun of them and flame them a little bit back in the day. Because I knew it was coming, because that's just like how Germany B played. <laughs> and so this guy was literally the leader. The guy who created this mouse was the leader of IPS and on Germany B. So I go into this call and I'm like, I don't know what this is going to be like. And he opens up with, by the way, I remember you saying that we're all DT droppers. And I'm like, do you, do you ever DT drop? He's like, yeah, I used it from time to time. So I thought that was... Uh... <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Um, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, I, I talked to them a little bit. They told me about the mouse and everything. They saved one for me. Uh, I did pay for it, but they actually were really kind and sent a second mouse to me. So, I actually have two of these. I have one uh, with the matte finish and one with the gloss finish. So, big thanks to them uh, for sending me an extra one. This mouse costs 250 euros. So that's pretty expensive. Um, but it's it's so minimalist and so light. I'm kind of I'm kind of interested. I really I want to try it out and see how good it is. Uh, honestly, I've tried out other mice. Um, I normally use Logitech Mini Optical uh, ripoff mice. And um, I you know I I like lighter mice, I think. So I, I really I want to like the mouse. I'm excited about it. I don't know. Let's let's see, I guess. Um, okay, so let me grab this here. Okay, let's switch this over. All right, so here is here's the mouse that came in, and it came with this little card. Let's take a look. So it gives some history of the company, and it actually has like the circuit board, I guess, that goes inside of one of these. Very small, as you can see. Gertosis, may this mouse protect you from DT drops. And then they signed it, the two guys, him and his brother that run the tournament. How amazing is this? Right? 
<laughs> there they are, a couple handsome fellas. Super sick. <laughs> I love it. I love the little personalization for it. I, I, I love that. All right. Put that aside. Let's go ahead and open this, this bad boy up. Kind of cool, right? They got this little stamp. It's kind of like, you know, those wax seals that the Romans did. It's like a little stamp showing that it's been closed, it's been taped up. You can tell that they did this themselves. It's a very small company, I think, right? It's uh, definitely not like a mainstream appeal mouse. You have to be a pretty hardcore, probably RTS player uh, to be into this. All right, so opening this up. Now, I got to say, I'm a sucker for mice that come with their own box. My favorite thing in the world is to travel to tournaments and stuff. So anytime you give me a mouse that has some sort of reusable bag or box, I'm very happy about that. So a nice little metal box. I like how minimal it is. Has their Zaunkonig, uh little guy on there, the little bird. Let's open it up. And look at that. Beautiful. So you can see it's uh, got like foam here. It's pushed in the, the cord. So pulling that all out. This mouse is unfathomably light. Okay? I cannot even express to you how light this mouse is. Let's take a look a little bit closer. Uh, it looks like it just has some Teflon mouse skates on there. You can see the circuit board inside. There's a few cords and everything all on the bottom. The clicks sound nice. They feel nice. It is tiny. Um, let me see here. I actually popped open uh, the matte one last night because I could not. I could not wait. I could not help it. Where did I put it? Really? Osis. What are you doing? Mouse is too expensive to lose. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, I guess we're trying this one. All right. Anyways, <laughs> um, this is it is so light, guys. Like, it doesn't even make sense how light this mouse is compared to the other one. All right, let's put it side by side here. This is an FK Mini Three, and here it is. Look at how small that is. FK Mini 3 is one of the smaller mice on the market. But their difference in weight, like, I think that this weighs almost 10 times this, is what it feels like. Yes, the cable is much heavier than the mouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure it is. For sure. That is incredibly light. Now, uh, they said out of the box... It comes at 800 DPI, which is exactly what I use. It's what most uh, professional RTS players use. So that's that's a good thing. We're setting up device. We're setting up M1K. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Oh, wow. This is... It's so small. The thing is, I use a fingertip grip. So, right, this is how I hold a mouse. Normally, I think there's like a little piece of my hand that touches the mouse just barely, but I'm not holding it with it, right? Like I hold, I hold a gaming mouse with my uh, ring finger and my thumb. And then I use my pointer finger and middle finger. And then my pinky sticks out of the side like I'm a rich person drinking uh, an expensive drink. Um... So this shouldn't be a problem, but it, it feels weird, right? Because there's nothing there. There's no, This is how I hold a mouse. There's nothing there. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's give this a try. Yeah, it seems... I'm really trying to pay attention how I'm gripping the mouse right now. So I do grip a mouse with my ring finger and my thumb. Um... And I'm doing that here, but apparently my thumb presses pretty hard. And I'm trying to counterbalance that with uh, the, the pad of my hand just uh, below my ring and pinky finger. 
Um, so that's where I'm having a little bit of a hard time. So the mouse is actually kind of sideways in my hand right now to, to accommodate because it's so short. Yeah, I, I'm trying, like when I try to grip a little bit less hard so that I don't have to counterbalance. It doesn't feel as stable to me. Waste of my life. The M1K. This is by far the lightest mouse in the world. It is, um, as far as I can tell, the most expensive gaming mouse in the world. At 250 euros. Uh, 23 grams total. I, there's, okay, so there's a few things. First off, I thought that I understood what my grip was on my mouse because I play like this. I didn't realize that I actually do use a part of my palm while I'm playing. I thought that was just like my, uh, when I was playing, I thought that it just happened to touch the mouse. I didn't realize I was actually somewhat holding the mouse with that. So it's like, I actually, I hold mostly with those two fingers and then partially with right there on my hand. Uh, so I have a part palm part, uh, it's like a very small part of my palm that touches it, uh, part, uh, fingertip grip. So this mouse really can only be used with fingertip grip. I was, I was actually scrunching my hand up like this to play today. And it's kind of like, I feel a little bit cramped from that. Now that being said, if this mouse was this size, in my opinion, this would be the best mouse in gaming by far. And I am down to try any good RTS mouse. But the lightness of it is unbelievably cool. It's like, it feels so good how light it is. The clicking is the best clicking that I've ever had. And just the smoothness of it is amazing. Uh, yeah, if you have a pure fingertip grip, I would definitely suggest it. Um, but I think not too many people probably do, because I, honestly, I thought I did, but I guess not. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, if, uh, this is, this is not a paid advertisement anyway, I purchased this mouse. Um, I'm kind of, like, nervously excited, like, I want a full size of this, and that would be the ultimate mouse for me. But as is, I think I'm getting a little bit cramped. In fact, like, um, wow, I, I feel like with the smoothness and the clicking, I've now been spoiled by this mouse. And I don't know what to do, because this mouse feels like a brick now. I can't, like, it's so heavy, comparatively. And I was trying this one, which is just a rip off of that one. And it's definitely lighter, but the click is not as good as this one. And the click on this one is not as good as this one. I don't know what to do. I'll, I might be using this one as a middle, a middle of the road thing. This is a 23 gram mouse, the guy asking. It's, it's so much lighter. I can't, like this mouse is really light. This is a very, this is the lightest mouse I ever used until this one. But this one's like, it feels like it should be able to float. Like if I let go, it just stays in the air. All right, so yeah, that's that's my uh, that's my review of the mouse. It's really high quality. <laughs> it's a really high quality mouse. I think it just comes down to what grip you use.